the first things we saw at Sea Otter was the Turbledo tubes. They're over two thirds lighter than a normal tube and the 29 by 2.5 version comes in at only 110 grams. They also have a tube specifically designed to carry on the bike for a spare. It's super cool because it has a removable valve stem as you can see, so it takes up less space and it enables you to store it anywhere on the bike. Next up we saw the Evoc race belt. It's a stripped down hip belt that can hold an inflator, tools, gloves, etc. Basically for enduro riders who don't want to carry anything on their back. We also saw the $40 top tube bag. It comes in a small size and is designed to be mounted behind the stem. It can hold a cell phone and some snacks as well. We also saw the Ortlieb Attract BP. BP stands for bike packing. The Attract BP is a stripped down version of the Attract bag that they launched last summer. It uses Ortlieb's lightweight bike packing materials and adds a helmet carry option. It's a fully waterproof bag and even with a 2 liter hydration bladder it's still fully waterproof. The hydration bladder is sold separately though. The bag retails for $265 and will be available later this summer. Today we also saw the VPD System Torso. It's a lightweight chest and back protector from POC. It retails for $240 and with a modular construction can be adjusted to fit almost any body shape. We also got a look at the POC Resistance Enduro Shorts. They retail for $160. They feature stretchy fabric and they also have Vectrin fabric on the knee and hip for extra durability. There wasn't anything totally new from TRP brakes, they just have a slightly updated version of their Quadium downhill brake, as well as a new trail brake, which is called the G-Spec Trail. It's a trail brake that features the same lever design as the Quadium downhill, but has their trail caliper. They also hinted at a new brake coming soon, which features a similar caliper to their new e-bike brake, but is meant for downhill purposes. We also got to see a cool new tool from Lazine. It's in prototype stages, but it should be available this summer. It's a dual purpose tool that both plugs and inflates your tire. As you can see, it uses a normal tubeless tire plug kit, but it has a slight alteration to it so that you can thread a CO2 onto it and both inflate and plug the tire at the exact same time. Its name is the CO2 Blaster, and the retail price is yet to be announced. We also saw the new 9 to 50 tooth 12 speed cassette from E13. It's an insane 556% range and it only weighs 398 grams. The new cassette no longer needs proprietary tools for installation and features an updated shift feature that delivers better shifting and better long-term durability. The new cassette comes in at $299 or 305 euros. We also saw the E13XCX race carbon crank, which are claimed to be the lightest production cranks on the market. They're available in 30 to 42 tooth, and they weigh in at 41 to 91 grams. The last thing we got to look at was the new 1UP carbon handlebars. They come in at $138. They come in red, green, blue, orange, purple, white, and black. They feature 800 millimeters width, 35 millimeter diameter clamp, and 20 millimeters rise. There's also a 35 millimeter rise version as well. 
The other piece to the puzzle is the new EDC stem. It retails for 85 US dollars and it enables you to use the 1UP EDC tool without tapping threads into the steer tube of your fork. Thanks for watching our coverage of the Sea Otter Classic. Stay tuned for more tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe.